Hello, this is Crystal with Crystal G Plans. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, thank you so much for joining. I'm so glad you're here. Today, I'm doing my weekly plan with me for the week of February 12th through the 18th. Of course, it's the week of Valentine's Day. And the weekend, I'm going to the WDE Super Show on Saturday. So, some more fun things happening this month. So, <clears throat> sorry, uh, my voice and Scott on these allergies well i don't have allergies it's just really killing me but anyways this is the kit i'm using from brianna nicole designs this is forget me not and i actually bought two of these full boxes because i don't know what happened i thought i had one so i got an extra one that i could use for next year but these are the leftovers that i'm using when i use this for my uh horizontal a5 planner so i still got plenty of leftovers so i thought okay I might as well just not buy any Valentine's Day kits until I use all of all of these. So I'm going to, <clears throat> so I'm just going to use this kit since I still got plenty of boxes and the washi tape that I haven't used in my A5 planner. And I still got some um, glare hairs I could use. So I don't have any day cover. So I'm just going to use this kit along with the uh, full boxes that I just bought since I didn't have any full boxes left. So I'm going to use whatever's left in this kit and this is the underlays from planet hannah this is hearts and flowers which is has a little um kind of a purple foil so yeah like i said this is the week of valentine's day i um, don't have any plans as of now but um like i said i'm going to the wg super show on the 17th so i'm probably gonna do a check-in the sunday after and that's about so yeah so i got my notes and everything so let's get started
now into Monday. So let's see what actually happened Monday. Um, of course, um, <clears throat> started in early at 745 and left around 515. But we actually had a, a teacher started. I believe it's one of the two teachers that were hired. So um, she's uh, three months pregnant and she she actually came as a transfer. So she um, she's in the uh, toddler room next to my classroom. So, so yeah, hopefully she will be sticking around for a while after she has her baby. So, oof, and I just dropped the pen, but my pen. So I'm gonna put down the early start stick. Oh, actually, no, let me, uh, I'm gonna put down the early start stick. No, I gotta put down my box first. So I'm gonna put down my box, there we go. And then I'm gonna put down my early start sticker from um, Happy Daya, right here. Okay, so I'm gonna put this right down. So yeah, 745 to 515. Okay, <clears throat> and uh, that was actually a good day. It wasn't too crazy of a day. But, you know, working with toddlers can drain you. You know, trying to, try to stay sane, but, you know, it's just, just, it's just crazy. But uh, anyways, uh, after that, I went to Starbucks and got my strawberry drink. And, uh, Sometimes I do these like little Starbucks challenges. I mean, it's not like every day I buy Starbucks, but you know, ever since the, the pink drink was given to me by one of the parents, I just been on a really, just been like on a binge lately. So that's the Starbucks running sticker from McPlans, and yeah, I, I I just can't seem to, I just can't seem to get enough of these drinks. I just really can't. Cause I like strawberries. It's my one of my favorite fruits. My, my other favorite fruit is orange. But these drinks are just addicting, and I just cannot help it. I really can't help it. So that was that. And after I had my start, had my Starbucks run, I went home and had my Cincy teen call. Of course, this was the call after my um. My trip to Sacramento for a Cincy World Tour, which was so much fun. Really had a good time. You know, when, you know, I'm trying to work my business more and take everything I learned, so my business will be better. I can get a better consultant. Um, okay, what did I just do with my oh, yeah, right here? I was like, what did I do with my tweezers? So yeah, I um, geez, get the sticker. So yeah, had my Cincy team call after that. Okay. And um <clears throat> see after that was done. Actually, you know, I actually um what was I gonna say? Um it goes right there to my time. Oh, I actually um had a pizza for dinner. And my roommate was nice enough to let me have his pizza from Costco, especially after I cooked my my pasta. And he was like, well, well, actually, he brought the pizza yesterday. Yeah, he brought the pizza yesterday um, from Costco. And he he didn't want to eat it by himself. He didn't want to eat it by himself. So he was like, hey, you know, why don't you have, have this pizza with your pasta? And I was like, Okay, I mean, I really got a really cool roommate. So yeah, he was really nice enough to let me have some of his pizza. And I had, it, I had it with my pasta yesterday, but I didn't have it today with um my pasta. And I only had like three slices, so I was like, okay, I'm just gonna eat that pizza. I can save it for the rest of the week. Cause I know I'll be going to dinner with some friends on Friday. And, you know, that's a good thing about meal prep. You know, you make all these meals to save for the week and you don't want to spend so much money 
buying all these things. You know, I was actually contemplating buying like Hello Fresh or Green Chef. I'm like, no, you know, the last time I did that, I spent like um how much did I spend? I spent like about sixty dollars a week, which is so ridiculous. I mean, you would think that with the price of groceries going up, they would lower it, but of course they won't. I mean, they try to get their money, but I don't know. I really don't want to, right? not right now at least, but maybe in the future I would consider, um, I would consider doing either Hello Chef or, what was I saying, Green Chef? Or, um, I forgot what those other dinners were, but yeah, like I said, sometime in the future, I will consider doing that. So I wouldn't have to buy the same things over and over again to do my meal prep. Oh, mm, I had two pieces of cigarettes. Which one should I use? Oh, you know what? I'm just going to use this one because it was pepperoni. So, yeah. So, after that, I watched some Wheel of Fortune and some Money Night Raw, which was which is good. It's with build up to Elimination Chamber happening in Australia. I believe it's next Saturday. Next Saturday. Yeah, because of course I'm going to do the show this Saturday. So yeah, that's that was my Monday. And I will check in with you guys tomorrow on Tuesday. Okay, so we are now into Tuesday. So um so another early start for me. Um I know I've been talking about early start, early start, early start because I didn't mention that I usually work work 8 30 to 5 30 and i'm not sure how long i'll be working those hours so you know who knows um but um this was kind of a it was kind of a long day it was kind of crazy um of course my my co-worker who works in the other oh, excuse me who works in the other toddler classroom um, she doesn't work Tuesdays, which is unusual. But the teacher that was hired wasn't there. So I'm like, okay, I hope this wasn't a part-time teacher. If not, if so, then, oh my goodness. I mean, that's going to really, really stress me out. Because, you know, we would we still have, like, floors who would flow around the class and doing breaks. But now they're in the entire classroom. So, pff, I don't know. Hopefully this... This teacher we hired was not part time, but uh, but yeah, I, I I just hope that we get some new teachers soon. Otherwise, don't go. But uh, anyways, so um, so um, after that, I went straight home. I mean, I would have gone to Starbucks, but I decided not to. You know, trying to save my money. But um, I was able to make it home in time to hear my friends doing their Queens of the podcast, Queens of the Ring podcast on YouTube, which was so fun. It was so funny. Um, of course, they were talking about WrestleMania coming up and their favorite, um, their favorite Sting You know, Sting was a wrestler who was, who was part of, oops, jeez, I'm dropping stuff here. I am kind of a klutz, so sorry about that if you heard that. Um, but yeah, what was I saying? Oh, so Sting was a wrestler in WCW. It was like way, way, way back in the day. And he's still going still going strong in his 60s. But he's playing he's playing to retire. So he was definitely a huge wrestler back, back in the 80s. He's been going through like these phases like Surfer Sting, Joker Sting. Um, uh, let's see, what else? Uh, NWO Sting, he's been going through like some phases, but he was, he's a huge legend. He's huge in the wrestling world. But like I said, he's, he's going to be retiring this year. And one of my friends is not happy about that. Um, but, you know, there's, there's, there's come a time when you have to retire. So that's, yeah, that day will come. So that's my, um, unicorn. YouTube unicorn sticker from Fox and Cactus. So like I said, I watched the Queens of the Ring podcast. Hmm. 
okay and <clears throat> and uh after that my friends and i we had a nice little um stream um we didn't have it last week because my friend who does all the streams she uh she was on she was on vacation last week with her her family at disney disney world and my god i really i want to go to disney disney world so bad I mean, I've been to Disneyland, but I've never been to Disney World in Florida. I mean, that would be so cool just to go there. And, you know, just have your little inner Disney, your Disney, Disney feeling. Just say, hey, you know, I want to meet Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse and really see all the areas of Disney World, like Epcot and, um... all that so yeah so we were just basically talking talking the same thing that i heard from the, the queen's marine podcast you know just wrestling and looking forward to wrestlemania and of course elimination chain were coming up next saturday and of course me being excited about going to the ye show this saturday so yeah just us girls talking wrestling just having a little fun and that's that and uh, yeah, so that's about it. That is my Tuesday. So I will check in with you guys on Wednesday, which happens to be Valentine's Day. Um, some things have been coming up the last minute within my job, but I'll definitely explain to you when I check in with you guys on Wednesday. Okay, guys. So today is Wednesday. And of course, that day is Valentine's Day. Well, of course, I have no Valentine's Day plans except working, of course. So, so again, um, I had to work like 7.45 to um, 5.05. And of course, those are still same hours and working as of right now. But I guess come next week, I'm just going to have to accept the fact that I'm going to be working 7.45 to 4.45 or later. So I won't have to waste my early star stickers. But, um, but yeah, it was just an overwhelming day because we almost had a full house. And, of course, we didn't have any Valentine's Day plans until that day, today. Um, so... We, um, so like I said, we had a full house. We had to send the kids to another room so they can be around the infants and we can get the Valentine's Day treats together. So we were there for like about 30 minutes or so. Um, of course, they were around infants, and of course, I was kind of afraid they would do something to hurt them. Thankfully, they didn't. I mean, you know, of course they were, they're like throwing balls around. I was afraid they were going to hit one of the infants, but they didn't. So, um, but yeah, but yeah, they were well behaved. We, it was, it was, it was fun just getting the treats together. I mean, it was kind of chaotic just getting all the treats together and getting, getting the infants to put them in, but we didn't want to force them. I mean, they didn't want to, so they, we decided that we'll just have to put them in ourselves. So that was that, and then we gave them like treats around that the parents brought. They had, they had they had like juice and Teddy Grahams and what else they had? Oh, some pouches. And of course, we had to stay, take them outside because it was going to rain that day. But we were there long enough before it rained, and that was that. And we had lunch at twelve instead of eleven, so we had to like move it move it along quickly, make sure they got to nap. So. Um, but yeah, like I said, it was a full house, almost full house, and it was just crazy. It was just dream, like, ugh. So, uh, anyways, um, that was that, and thankfully I left and made home just in time for the bus. Well, I thought the bus would show up at least, um, by the time... I got there, but I had to wait a couple more minutes. So, um, 
yeah so after that I went home and what was I do um so yeah I went went home and ate dinner got to watch the supermarket sweep and of course I had to um Something else I did? No, I don't. No, nothing else happened. No, nothing else happened. No, I'm trying to, try to figure, try to figure out um, what else I did. But uh, no. So yeah. So of course I worked and I eat dinner, watch a little TV, and then um, did my video chat with my friends. I mean, it was kind of um, I wouldn't say hectic, but you know, just basically us talking about work and just the stresses of work and everything and oh sorry that was my computer <laughs> sorry cut it off but no I didn't um but yeah it's just stress of work and everything and trying to decide if we're gonna look for a new job and whatnot just talking a little bit of wrestling so god we just we just definitely need like a break or something so yeah so this is the stream yard stickers here this is the new ones from boulder bond because i have these custom made and after that um decided to watch some court cam so let me see if i can find a sticker for that um yeah i'm gonna use this sticker i mean i'm gonna use this box here um, I didn't, I don't think I mentioned, I don't think I watched Core Cam last week. I think it was just the best of, um, I think it was like the top five something. I didn't, it was, I think the episode was top five Mercy cases or something like that. I was like, nah. I mean, would you grant someone Mercy if they were committing a crime that was so crazy that you would want them to be happy like forget. I mean, I know some people will be forgiven. I know some people will not be so forgiven. So I decided not to watch that. But this is actually a new episode. Um, of course, this episode that it said a judge chastised the defendant for his courtroom outbursts, and I've seen some court courtroom outbursts on court games. Like, okay, people just be quiet and just listen to what you're what's listen to what the judge has to say, and they just make the funniest statements like okay you're not supposed to be doing that and um someone said a committed murderer mother tells the guard that she used methamphetamine with her son the day he got sh day he shot his boss i'm like what are you kidding me i'm like okay that's all like you know what yeah there's some crazy people in the world <laughs> i mean it feels like people are just doing the silliest, stupidest things for what? I don't know. But uh, anyways, um, so, that's, so, that's, so that was um, what I watched and trying to get this sticker. Uh, I think I'm going to use this purple stick TV sticker from the Prairie Planner here. So I watched Core Cam. Oh man! Oh, I kind of messed that up. Oh, see, it said lately I'm dropping stuff. I got slippery hands, just to let you know. What you said? Um, so yeah, this is where you fix that. So yeah, that was my Valentine's Day. Like I said, um, did have no date or yeah, it was just basically work and whatnot. So yeah, so that was my. Wednesday, that was my Valentine's Day, pretty much. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so who knows what's gonna happen on Thursday? Um, hopefully things will be better, but who knows with work and everything. So, I will check in with you guys on Thursday, okay, you guys. So, uh, um, I have not been doing check ins lately because it's been a very long week. But um, I'm going to go through Thursday and Saturday. So let's go through Thursday. Um, again, apologize for not checking in because, like I said, it's been a really rough week with work and everything. So let's see. What happened Thursday? So, of course, um, I was working in an early shift. 
I, was, uh, I think I left like around what? It was some, it was like 745 to, um, I think I left like around, I think it was 445, I believe so. I do remember because um, I remember um, walking to Starbucks before five, which I did after work. So, of course, that's what I did after work and um, had to get my um, strawberry Akai refreshing drink. There. And let's see. So that's what I did. So um got my stickers from Happy Day at the early star sticker, the pink drink sticker from sticker Oki, Mick Plans, the script sticker. Um, let's see. So I got home, had some dinner, and I actually did watch um of course I did watch Wheel of Fortune. Why is I watching Wheel of Fortune? My favorite game show. One of my favorite game shows. And I also watched um 48 hours. It was a it was a case of a attorney who um where her husband while their three children were asleep. Um they were actually divorced and it was all being pinned on her sister who in which she was wearing like two wigs, trying to disguise as her sister. And I remember watching this episode on Snapped and I was trying to find that episode, but um couldn't, but it ended up on 48 hours. So that's why I started watching after I was watching Supermarket Sweep. So that was um Thursday. Um Friday again, it was another early, early uh start. And you know what? I think I'm gonna stop using these stickers because I guess I have to get used to the fact I'll be working um uh 7:30. Well, actually, I did start at seven thirty because, again, there were um, there were three teachers, I guess, that called out, and I did leave at seven forty five. But that day was very, very challenging. Don't get into details; it was just crazy. So that was that, and I also went. To, I also went to Starbucks again. Okay, like like I said, I've been saying this before that ever since those pink drinks came out and I started getting one from one of the parents, I've been like so obsessed on getting these refresher drinks. And I mean, Starbucks wasn't like my obsession with or anything like that until those pink drinks came out and I got one. So it, it's just really, really refreshing. And I know I got to start making those. Like he's saying, I'm going to make those, but I am. So that was that, and I actually went to a, uh, went, actually went to dinner with some people. So I went to this, um, uh, went to this restaurant called Fonda, and I think it's in, it's in Albany. And I've been living in the Bay Area all my life, and I've never been to this restaurant. It's this um, Mexican cuisine restaurant. And I had these um, steak fajita tacos, these little street tacos, and I also had some nachos. They weren't like your typical nachos. I mean, I wouldn't say they're burnt. I guess they were like um, cooked to a crisp or whatever. But there were some really spicy. Um, there were some really spicy nachos. Well, I wouldn't say they were spicy. I did bit off of pepper. It was so, so hot because my mouth's so sensitive. And I really don't like spicy food that much, but um, it was actually nice. I mean, there wasn't much in the menu that I wanted. Well, this this one girl, she actually ordered the, the garlic sauteed shrimp. It did not look like it was garlic sauteed shrimp. It looked like it was spicy. It had, like, had some, like, enchilada sauce or whatever, but I was like, okay, glad I didn't get that. And this one, and this one woman, she had um, this canoe salad with the spinach and uh, with shrimp and I was like okay why didn't I get that because I do love salad but anyways it was actually good it was a it was a good um dinner good night out for me just to take a break after everything with this long week and I was able to make it home in time to watch uh on patrol live well they didn't show new episodes I was informed that they're going to show old episodes but I guess they were taking a break and We'll be back 
um, next week with some new episodes. So that was my Friday. So now Saturday. So now Saturday was um, the day I was going to the uh, WWE Super Show. But before then, um, actually, let me see if I can get my stickers out. So um, I actually had to... Oh, this out of the way. All right, here we go. So, um, I actually had to get some laundry done. Um, before then, I woke up like around seven. And the, the funny thing about that, um, the funny thing about that, I forgot to put on my Amazon, Ale Amazon Alexa alarm. Cause I remember I set it off cause I was in Sacramento last weekend and I forgot to turn it back on. So, Luck, lucky for me, I woke up before the alarm was on. I, I guess you could say my my body is a biological clock. It's like I can t it can tell when I should wake up, and that I won't miss that alarm. I don't think I oh, maybe I have overslept. I don't know when, but but yeah. Anyways, I actually got up, got got ready, and I did some laundry. Um, that's a little script sticker from the kit, and um. I did have a chiropractic appointment and I was kind of worried that I wouldn't be able to make it in time before the show, but thankfully I did. So I did have a chiropractic appointment and the thing, and um, I, I need to get some coffee or some hot shot because the curing machine that I bought from Walmart was not working. Now this happened the first time when I had a curing machine. I don't know if it's because I wasn't putting the rinse pots or anything. It just like stopped working. So I had to find some rinse pots. Maybe that might work, or maybe the water solution or whatever. Um, if this ever happens to you, let me know in the comments because I really don't want to spend so much money on curing machines that just stop working. Otherwise, I'll be like, okay, I need to. I need to figure something out because I really don't want to spend so much money on curing machines that's going to stop working. Maybe I do need some rinse pots or fix or whatever we need to unplug or whatever. So that was that. And, um, but yeah, like I was saying, I, I need to get some coffee like so bad because I didn't, because my curing machine wasn't working. So I actually, um, been hearing about this coffee shop called Phil's Coffee and, um, I don't know like what the hype is about. I guess you can say, I wouldn't say it's like kind of just the Starbucks. I mean, whenever I see Phil's coffee, lots of people are just lining up to get it. And I'm like, okay, it must be like a huge, huge chain. And I'm pretty sure, and I'm, and I know they got like some shops around the Bay Area and beyond. So I decided to... <clears throat> so I decided to try that. So I got some hot chocolate from there from there. And I will say it wasn't as good as the Starbucks hot Starbucks hot chocolate. I mean, they didn't put no whip whipped cream on it. They did put some cream on it. Um I think it's yeah, just cream, so I guess when you order from Phil's Coffee, you order the hot uh the hot chocolate, you get you get a choice of almond milk, oat milk, 2% milk, or just cream, not whipped cream. So I guess you can say it was okay. And well, maybe I wouldn't try Phil's coffee again. So, so yeah, so that was just my take on it. So before the end, so after that, um, went, I went straight home so I can be home in time to take a little break before I go to the dirty Super Show. And I actually didn't, and I need to eat some lunch before then. So I went and I got some Subway. And I always order, I don't know if I mentioned this, I always order like the cold cut combo in a foot long. I mean, there have been some times I did order sandwiches, other sandwiches from Subway. But I always get like the cold cut combo. I mean, maybe one of these days I might need to add some other meats like salami. I do love salami and sandwiches. Okay, so that was that, and after that, I got ready, and 
I went to the WD Road to WrestleMania Super Show. I mean, it was okay. I mean, my favorite superstar wasn't there. I mean, I would say it's a good show, but it wasn't exciting. And I would say I did kind of dodge a bullet to not go to the Superstar Experience. I've, I've been to the super, Superstar Experience twice. So, um... I'm not sure when they're going to come back to the barrier. I'm pretty sure maybe in the fall or whatever, because I've been to the uh, shows in the fall when I when I moved back to the East Bay. So maybe in September or October, not sure. But uh, God, it was just pouring rain. I mean, literally pouring rain. We had to stand outside until the doors opened. When I got the info, they said it was supposed to open at 5, but no. They said 5.30, but then they switched to 6 because the show started at 7.30. I don't know if I read it wrong or they just mixed things up. I'm like, okay, okay. Of course, lots of people were just getting antsy. It was raining outside. And I was like, okay, let's hurry up. But but all right, it was a good show. So, so that was uh, my Saturday. And um, like I said, this whole week has been crazy. So... So that's that's from so that's it for me getting caught up with my check-ins and I will check in with you guys on Sunday to wrap this week up. Okay, you guys. So I'm gonna be finishing up my weekly plan with me, checking in on Sunday. Um, if you can hear some noise in the background, there's some laundry going on and there's a TV upstairs. <laughs> because um, my roommate has some friends over, so I'm going to speak as loudly as I can, if you can hear me. Okay, so um, this Sunday, I uh, had an appointment, and you know, that really went well, and then I got back home, and I had lunch. So, it was, um, let me see, which sticker should I use? Uh, I'm trying to see if I can find some gray stickers from this kit, if I can. Actually, um, uh, no, actually, I'm going to use this one. So, like I said, um, I had, I had some, um, I had some lunch. I actually had some leftover pizza because my roommate brought home some pizza, uh, for his friend who had a birthday recently. And again, it's so bad that I'm binging on pizza because I really do like pizza. It's, it's so good. So he actually bought some pizza. I think it was from, no, I don't think it was from Mount Mike's. No, I lied. It was from Mount Mike's. It was this, it's this pizza place that I tried a few times. And sometimes, and I do remember the first time I tried it, their pizza was like so, so greasy. It was like, mm, I don't know if I want to try Mount Mike's again, but the pizza that he brought, it wasn't as greasy as I thought it was, but it was so good and you know we and um, my job we always get like mountain bikes for lunch whenever we can so yeah he has some leftover pizza for lunch and um he let me have some of it so i'm gonna put out this pizza sticker from fox and cactus Okay, and after that, I had to continue washing dishes because uh, if I if I didn't mention this before, our washing some washing our washing machine is still broken. So that is a shame that you know we can't use the dishwasher. And to be honest, I really don't like washing dishes because I don't like my hands being dry. So had to wash some dishes with the dishes that we have left that we had left and also um had to order some groceries via instacart and i was going to do meal prep that day but the meat was still <laughs> it was still um frozen so Good thing I had something else I could eat for dinner without buying more takeout because that would be bad. 
So um, I remember having, having, having this pouch that the, um, some people had brought out. It turned out good, but it was so spicy, like that dinner I had on Friday night. So that was that, and I actually cooked some rice, so I knew that rice wasn't gonna be enough, so I ended up eating this. Um, I, forgot was, I forgot what it was. It was this pouch with the meat, some spices, and I had that with rice. It turned out so good. So that's what I had for dinner. So I'm gonna put down the order grocery sticker from the kit. And of course it did come like about two hours later. Instacart was kind of like, kind of had a delay. I guess it's because of President's Day. So that's what happened, but I still got my groceries, but the, the meat still wasn't thawed. And um, did watch a ep new episode, Snapped. Um, I'm gonna take out this, um, uh, it's later header, shoot, I you should have done that. I might have to take it, put a sticker over it. So this episode, this woman was taking care of um, her sister, shoot, her sister-in-law's kid and was trying to cash in her checks. And I guess the sister found out about it and she went missing. And it took 15 years to finally crack the case, which was sex. I know in some cases, it'll take years for the case to be solved. So that's what the episode was about. Uh, let's see, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna fix this. God, I hate when I do that. But it's a good thing I had some more boxes. Um, actually, yeah, I think we're just going to use this one just to cover it up. Okay, yeah, that fixed it. And let me see if I can find a TV sticker. Mm. Uh, no, I think it's going to pull on out from the Prairie Planner. Uh, let's see which I think I'm gonna pull no I think I'm gonna pull up the purple one here so yeah definitely love watching snap I like I said I am kind of a crime show junkie of course the episodes you see on snap of course they'll appear on other shows like 2020 or 48 hours and it just makes it interesting and also I did do my weekly plan with me and like I said I'm gonna be working on doing like my um planner hack ma making the uh, the full boxes flip over so that way i have more room and i did that last week when i went to sacramento so i'm gonna try and incorporate incorporate more of that into my plan with me's throughout my planner if i can and uh yeah so that that was about it and you know, i spent the rest of the evening just watching Supermarket Sweep because you know this long this week has been so long and crazy. So that's practice. So that's everything I did this Sunday. So I'm gonna check back with you guys to finish up my weekly spread. Okay, so this is the finished spread here. It looks so cute and adorable. Um, I know that um, Valentine's Day was last week, but um, but yeah, it's a good thing I kept the uh, leftovers from uh, the kit that I used last year when I did when I did my weekly plan with me in my A5 planner and that's the best thing about Brianna Nicole Designs that you still got a lot of boxes to use and everything else and yeah I still got another weekly kit from the shop that I'm going to use for back to school I still got to get the boxes for it so of course that will be that'll be until August or September at least but um, yeah, hopefully you guys had a great week um, during Valentine's Day. Let me know in the comments, what were your plans for Valentine's Day? What did you actually do on this week? So let me know in the comments. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Like this video, share and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Hit the notification bell whenever you want to be notified for I upload my next video. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.